Hi, I'm Garrett and welcome to IDC Woodcraft. This video is for beginner CNC people who are getting interested in CNC machines, routers, lasers, what have you, and getting familiar with some of the stuff that you just have to know. In this video, we're going to cover the G code that you have to know. When you hear CNC, G code is married to it. Without G code, you basically have a really expensive paperweight. G code is the language this machine uses to know what to do. Basically, motion. And there's lots of G codes out there. However, there are five G codes that you need to know in order to do what you have to do to set up parts, to get the tool to go somewhere. So let's cover these. The five G codes you have to know are G0, G1, G20, G21, and G28. They each have specific functions that you will use to do what you need to do. So let's cover these. First of all, you have the, the couple of G0 and G1. These are what they call linear movement commands, meaning they will move this machine in a straight line from wherever it's at to wherever you want it to go. Now G0 and G1 are like brothers who do not get along. You can't use them together. They both command the machine to move in a straight line. However, G0 is like the brother who's a badass, fast and furious, wants to get to his destination no matter what it takes as fast as he can. G0 is called a rapid command. That will move the tool or the machine, the working head, to that position as fast as it possibly can go. G1, on the other hand, is the brother that likes to take his time, is meticulous, does things the right way. G1 is a feed rate command. When G1 is used, we're telling the machine to move at a specific rate of speed. It's like you driving down the highway. The right speed is, we'll just say 70 miles an hour. That's the optimal speed to get me from point A to point B, deal with traffic, not get pulled over. However, if I'm the brother who likes to get there as fast as possible, then I'm going 120 miles an hour, guess what's going to happen? I'm either going to get in a wreck or get pulled over. Either way, something bad is going to happen. G1 is like going 70 miles an hour. It's the optimal speed. In this case, when we're cutting the material, we don't want to go as fast as we can. We'll break our tool. So we have a specified feed rate to get through that material that's optimized for the tool and the material together. So I want to demonstrate both of these commands, G0 and G1. On this machine, our router head is in the home position on the machine. However, we want it to get over here because this is our work start point. This distance between here would be really boring if we just went at some kind of slow feed rate to get there. So let's get on the computer, use a G0 command, and let me show you how this works. We're on my laptop here, and I am using a program called Universal G-Code Sender. This is basically the brains of your machine. This is what tells your machine what to do. And when you run a program into it that's going to make a part, it will actually send the G-Code to the machine to tell it what to do. However, you need to understand G0 to get the machine into position, to set zero points or get it out of the way so that you can put your material in place and clamp it down. When you do that, you're going to manually enter that data. So right down here, as in all, in all software, there will be a place where you can manually enter the data. So here we have the command line. And we're going to type in the command G0, the number 0, X0, and Y0. What that's going to do is tell the machine to go as fast as it can from here to there. Now I'm going to hit enter. So you can see that was really fast and if it was actually trying to cut some material it would break this tool. We don't want to do that. However, we got over here as fast as we could. We didn't waste any time. Now we want to get into the material and start feeding. So now we're going to pretend that the router is actually in the material and it's cutting and we want to cut across this material. The tool is turning, we don't want to go that fast, so we have to have a controlled rate of speed. And so for this particular tool, quarter inch end mill, 
we have an optimal speed of 35 inches per minute. And so that's what we're going to tell the machine to do. So we're going to tell the machine to move at 35 inches per minute. That's where the G1 brother comes in. A nice, meticulous, controlled movement. I'm going to type in G1 Y4 point. Now, with a G1, it's you have to use an F command, or F as in Frank. That is like feed rate. You need to determine and define that feed rate. So we're going to type in F 35 point. Now, what we have just entered in is a feed command of 35 inches per minute to get to 4 inches off of the position that it's in right now in the Y direction. If you work in metrics, just hang on because I'm going to explain this with the G20 and the G21 command. For now, let's just understand what G1 is doing. Now you remember, it rapided over to this position. However, we are calling up a G1 command, look how it moves now. Now you can see that it's moving at a nice gentle speed. Speed. it's doing its work in the wood it's working optimally it got to the four inch position off of this crosshair right here so that is what G1 does if I typed in G0 Y0 to send it back to here I'm gonna tell it to go as fast as it possibly can and here we go and now I'm gonna go to G0 Y4 in the same command and I'm gonna type in G1 Y0, but I'm not putting in an F. Once the code is entered in, the machine will retain it. So there we have it. This is the difference between G1 and G0. Rapid is G0, a feed rate, controlled feed rate is G1. G1 is used when you're cutting material, G0 is used to move around to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. You will see this in your code all the time. All right, let's move on. The next code you need to know is G28. Now that's like the brother who's really isolated and just likes to be at home. G28 is a command that tells the machine to go home. All machines have a home position or the position that the machine references all its moves from. But a lot of times, like right now, I want to clamp this workpiece down, but the machine is in my way. So I need to get it out of the way. And the fastest way to do that is type in a G28 command to rapid this thing out to its home position. Here's how that works. When I say G28 is like its own little guy, standalone, it's isolated, it's because you can use this command all by itself without any other commands to do the motion. So I've typed in G28 and now I'm going to hit enter. And you can see the machine went as fast as it could back to the home position. You'll use G28 when you want this machine out of your way. So you can do whatever you need to do over here. So now we've covered G0, G1, and G28. All linear moves. G0, G1 are used in the programs to do quick motions and cuts. G28 simply sends the machine to its home position. Now we have the two other codes that you have to know when running this machine. You won't use them that often, but you need to understand them because without it, you're going to wonder what's going on with your machine. G20 and G21. These codes define whether this machine is working in inches or millimeters. If you're an imperial guy or girl, and you like to work in inches, then you're going to work with G20. If you're one of the metric people, then obviously you're going to work in G21. I want you to think of G20 and G21 like two sisters that don't think alike at all. It's kind of normal. Anyway, they do not work together. G20, when entered in, will tell the machine that it is going to be working in inches. G21 tells it's going to be working in millimeters. Once you enter either one of those commands, like all other G codes, it'll retain that command until you put in another command. So in the beginning of a program or the beginning when you turn the machine on, you type in G20, you've told the machine, I'm doing everything in inches from here on. You don't ever have to enter that in again. Now I want you to understand something. This is really fundamental that you have to know as well. 
when you're working in G20 or inches, not only is it like units of measure as in inches, but it's also feed rates. When you type in G20 and you tell it to use a G1 command or feed at a certain speed, you are telling the machine to move in inches per minute. This is really important for you to remember. It's like you drive miles per hour. This machine goes in inches per minute. However, if you are in G21 metric, it's going in millimeters per second. So it's important to remember that. Inches per minute when you're working in G20, millimeters per second when you're working in the metric format. So let's show you how G20 and G21 sisters work and why they don't work together. Forgive me for taking this down to the very basics, but you know that one inch is from here to here. I'm not going to talk about from here to there because that's, this, this is a crappy ruler or scale. But uh, So that's one inch. So when I tell the G20 sister to move one, she's going to go from there to there. However, if I told the G21 sister to move one, she's going to go from there to there. That's the difference. G20 works on a scale like this. G21 works on a scale like this. That's why these two sisters just will not work together. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to type in a G20 command. And I just hit enter. I've told the machine now that everything it's going to do is in inches. So if I type in a G0Y1 point and hit enter, the machine is going to move from here to there. So the machine has now just gone one inch. Now let's move it back to the original position. And I am now going to type in G21 and hit enter. Now I'm going to type in Y1 point and watch how it moves. So you can see it only moved that little bit. It actually just moved one millimeter. So if you command your machine to move a certain distance and it doesn't go that distance, it just moves a little bit. The first thing to do is type in either G21 or G20 and then try your command move again. Just to refresh, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to bring this back to the zero point and I'm going to tell it now to go Y 10. So if we're thinking 10 inches and it makes that kind of move, it's a very short move. We are in the metric system. So we are going to just simply type in G20, hit enter, and then we're going to take so Y10 and the machine runs way far away, all the way over to there. And that's the 5G codes that you need to know so you can get your machine just to do things that you want to do when you manually enter in information. So let's just refresh. You have G0 and G1, which are moves that will just move the machine around inside of a program or when you want the machine to go to a certain place. There are linear moves. G0 is a rapid command. G1 makes it move at a rate of speed that you determine. G28 gets the machine out of your way, sends it home in a linear straight line motion at a rapid rate. G20 is telling the machine it's working in inches. G21 tells the machine it's working in millimeters. So remember these five codes, G0, G1, G28, G20, and G21, and you will have the basic G codes that you have to know in order to run your CNC machine. What you're going to use all the time is G0 and G28. G20, G21, you'll use occasionally. G1, you probably won't use that often, but you need to know what it is. All right, this is Garrett. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, any comments, please leave them down there. Any questions, if I didn't explain this well enough, I'll be glad to answer your question in the comments. So, um, also, CNC videos for beginners. There are two more videos, one here and one right over my face now that will tell you about this XYZ axis that you have to know and what tools you need to get. This video right here. I will talk to you next time.